Hey guys, this is Bex here. I'm going to show you today how to start setting up a newsletter through MailChimp. So this is taking into account that you already have a MailChimp account and that you already have created a list in this section of people who want to subscribe to your newsletter. So um, we're, what we're going to do is I clicked on campaigns. If you want to send your first newsletter out, go there. You can, if you've already done a newsletter, you can rep replicate it. So um, that will make life easier. But for your first one, you just need to be able to create a campaign. And I apologize. I feel like this is running a little slow today. All right. So plain old campaign, just fine. I honestly don't even know what all those other things are. And some of them might be for the paid account. I have a free account. Now I have a bunch of lists here and the reason I have a bunch of lists is because my email addresses were all transferred from the client angel um, but I only want to send it out to this list of people because these are the specific people that stated on my sample form that they want the redhead manicures nail news and I don't want to irritate other people who say just wanted a sample and never signed up for the newsletter. That's just my personal preference. Um, some other people might send their newsletter to everybody who requests a sample. So it's up to you, you know, talk to your sponsor if you're not sure. Um, I also love the client angel, by the way, while we wait for this to load up, I may have to do some videos on them but that's been helpful and hopefully will be really good in the long run. Okay, so this is a private title. So, okay. Your subscribers aren't going to see this, but they are going to see this one. So give this, okay, a title that will catch their attention. This is a lame title, but this is just an example. You want to make sure this is checked off so that when they get the newsletter, it'll have their name in it, like, hi, Megan. Um, you don't want it to seem as generic, and personalizing the two field will do that. It'll make it feel a little more personal. And I apologize, my air conditioner just came on in the background. It's pretty loud, um, but I'm pretty sure you can still hear me. So I'm just going to carry on while we wait. Um, again, I don't have a paid account, uh, but there's fancier stuff you can do with a paid account. So if you want to look into that, feel free, but I'm all about the free, free account. MailChimp is awesome. Oh, dear. Let's wait. All right. Please excuse the technical difficulties, folks. That's what I say to my students when I'm trying to do something on, like, the Apple TV and I'm having a problem. Technical difficulties... So there's a lot of choices for templates for your newsletter. You can check, you know, around, see which ones you like. I like this one, personally. So let's just do that. One to two column banded. So you're going to want to plan ahead a little bit. You need some things, some photos saved on your computer that you can use in this newsletter. Images are really important. Um, if you send just a text newsletter, sorry, no one's going to want to read it. Um, so what I did here in mine, I put in the Jamberry Independent Consultant logo. So you can just browse. Now you will see upload. Here it is. Yay. You'll see I already have some other stuff saved. I'll show you how that works in a minute, but... I want you to know how to upload um, a new picture from your computer. So that's important that we're doing this. Now, this is pretty big. You can go in and resize it. You would need to click this pencil icon, and then you could click Edit. And there's a lot of stuff here you can goof around with, um, including resize. So but let's just skip that for now because I'm trying to make this video short and sweet, you guys. So then you're going to want to change this. So 
guess double clicking on it or hitting the pencil, it'll come up over here in the sidebar and you can change the text. Welcome to my newsletter, if it's your first newsletter. And then to give them a real brief, I'd say like maybe like two to three sentences, maybe 150 words, no, not words, characters, like make it like short, like two Twitter posts or something in here. Just to tell them here's what's in the newsletter. You know, fun, you know, fun styles are retiring. Um, whatever you like. Oh, then save and close. So then here's your um, two areas that you can add to. So try to plan ahead. Plan what you want to have in your newsletter. So I wanted to have think something about the um, $50 off your hostess kit so I've actually already uploaded that so I'll just select it to make life easier and let's see if we can there we go well it's, um, okay and then type a little something to get their attention Danbury's having a super special deal, and then tell them about it. Save and close. Let's do this one real quick. Um, another fun thing, um, oh, the sister style. You might want to put in the month's exclusive style and remind folks, so I'm double, I double clicked on that. Sorry for moving fast, I double clicked here to bring it up to the side so I could edit, or I could have clicked the pencil. All right. Ideally, I would like to have, have had a picture of the sister style on someone, but I couldn't find a good picture that I was pleased with, so. And tell them that this is only for the month after August 31st. It's gone, and you would be sad if you miss it. I know I will personally, I wanna get this all right, so then I believe, yeah, this is an easy way to add. So, sorry, my dog is making noise in the background. What's up, buddy? All right, but then you have to change the picture. So let's replace the picture. Hey, pal. Oh, this is a cute one. All right. And then put in some new text. So let's pretend we already did that. My last newsletter, I think I had four blocks. So then if you're all done, you think, geez, I'm all set. All right. Click next. And up here, you can preview your newsletter. Please do that and double check it for typos and all that. You can also preview it on this next screen, which is what I'm going to show you. And then when you go to send it out, you can schedule it. So click here, enter preview. You can schedule your newsletter or you can send it out immediately. So then scroll down and say, okay, it looks great. So I skipped this part. So I could go back and do a little sentence or something there. Um, see how it says schedule so I can pick the time I think at some point I read somewhere could have even been something charity said that you know the morning is a good time for newsletters to go out so I tend to like to send them out around 8 o'clock Eastern time but it's up to you I could send it right away if I want cancel if I don't want to schedule it so since this is a whoops demo I'm not actually going to send the newsletter that would be super confusing for my readers <laughs> So I hope this gives you a little bit of help. Um, I know there's a ton of other great videos out there for MailChimp. So check on YouTube. Um, if you want me to do something more specific or go into more detail, let me know. I could make another video for you. And I hope this helps. All right, guys. See you later.